Hi, welcome to Cat Tech. For today's tutorial, we will be using polyline command. So we are now on our seventh, uh, seventh day of our twenty days to the CAD exercises. Polyline is a connected sequence of line segments created as a single object. You can create straight line segment, arc segment, or a combination of two. Before we start with our drawing, let's set our units first. So type units in our command line. Make sure it's in millimeters and the precision is 0, 0.00 and then press OK. Now click polyline or type PL in your command line. Click anywhere in your screen. Type 4.5 and then select A for arc. The radius is 1.5 but, but as as you see on the drawing it is uh it requires diameter so 1.5 is the radius and the diameter is 3 because 1.5 times 2 is equals to the diameter so let's type 3 and then since we are on arc we need to go back to line again so you can type L and then let's type 2 going up so i'm not even if i enter the line does not end there so it just keep on uh connected so i guess this is one this is 1.5 one three and then just connect it to the line that we created first and then press enter if i will select this drawing you see that all lines and arc is connected unlike when you created a drawing using line let's sample let's create a simple box so if i created this i only created one line while in polyline all segments are connected so we will no longer um put dimensions on this one let's proceed to our main activity or main exercises so let's use polyline let's start with 1.82 going down to 1.46 going to the right 4.06 then it requires an angle 15 because 180 minus 165 is 15 degrees type the length 1.6 mm -hmm. another angle so 165 135 rather minus 180 is 45 create a straight line 1.44 and then press enter let's create another line so we will just use line for this one so the thickness is 0.94 and then the height is 1.6 let's just click this line click the middle move it at the end point now create a line again length is 1.96 and then another line 0.4 so we can create our uh, arc so that would be the end point. So circle like here. Radius is 0.4. Just type 0.4. And then let's just move this closer. Uh, we will trim this uh, excess. Wait, wait, wait. Let's erase this part first. And then let's create a center line. Click the line, center, change it to gray. Let's trim now this excess line. Enter. Next is we need to create uh, this arc. So from here, the height would be 1.6. So from there, we will create another circle with a radius of 2. 
So you see both of the circle is now uh, intersect. So we will just trim the rest we delete. Let's erase this and this part. What we need to do next is to fillet. Let's fillet, reduce. The corner is 0.56. Let's type 0.56. And then we fillet this part. Its radius is 0.25. So fillet again, reduce 0.25. So now I guess we're ready to mirror. So select all, mirror, mirror line, enter. So what we need to do next is to make the inner circle. Let's create a line for our guide. Then the distance is 0.56. So from there, 0.56. The length, the distance is 3.00 from each other. Let's just move this line clicking the midpoint going there. Let's erase this part. Now we have a guide. So, diameter is 0.5, sorry, again, type D, 0.5, let's just copy this one, copy, and then down. Now, the distance from here to the other circle is 3.5, so we will copy these two circles. Copy. Displacement is from center going to the end point of the line. Then press escape to and the command and erase the remaining line. Let's add details to our drawing by adding dimensions. Of course, we need to set our dimension first or dimension style. So I already copy the previous dimension from what I've teach you on our previous lesson. Now we will just uh, modify, since our dimension is smaller from our previous dimension, you, you need to adjust the height of the, or the size of the arrow and the height of the text as well as the extension line and the offset from the origin. Once you're happy with your adjustment, you just click the, the file name or the names that you save and then set current and then close. Now let's start getting the dimension. almost done indicating the dimension <coughs> so i guess it's all complete so let's go to layout you double click inside this square or rectangle and then scroll your mouse the scroll key to zoom in your drawing and then let's insert our Title block. Oops, sorry, I always forget. Let's change the units. Inches. Let's insert again. Let's type the name. Drawing name is uh, line command date. Once you enter or press OK, it will automatically appear on our title block. Uh, let's put this line to def points and then turn off this light that you see here. So it won't be visible on our layout. 
If you have any questions, just comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe so you will be updated for our new video tutorial. So thank you for watching and God bless!